Hey y'all, half mile sniper here, and uh, we're on the range, on our way to the range today to uh, do a quick test. Uh, velocity differences between a 44 Magnum and a 41 Magnum. So, this ought to be pretty fun. Back, kick your feet up, and enjoy the ride. Okay, y'all, so what I have here today is my Smith Wesson Model 29 nickel plated 44 Magnum and my blued Smith Wesson Model 57 41 Magnum. I bought my 41 Magnum a little bit after Dirty Harry came out, and at that time you could not find a 44 Magnum gun anywhere. Dirty Harry really helped the sales of 44 mag. So I got my 41 mag. And I've had both these guns for a while, but today we're going to see what kind of velocity difference a Winchester silver tip, 175 grain and 41 magnum, has compared to a 240 grain 44 magnum. Now I know that the Federal is saying that this has a uh, like 1,250 feet per second velocity because I know I've run it before and I know this gun runs a little bit faster than the factory says. This Winchester ammo has no velocities on it, so we're uh, we're going to find that out today. So let's uh let's get going, get things set up, and get the shooting. Okay, this will be the 41 Magnum with 175 grain silver tips. Wow. Okay, let's see what the data tells us. Our low was 1233. Our high was 1306. Our average was 1260. So out of my 4 inch 57, the uh, 175 grain silver tips are running 1,260 feet per second on average. Now let me get reset for the uh, 44 mag. Okay, and this will be with the 240 grain 44 Magnum Federal jacketed hollow point. And uh, box says these things are doing 1,250 feet per second. Here we go.
Wow. Now let's see what our 44 mag numbers look like. Our low is 1245. Our high is 1286. Our average is 1273. And then looking at the target here, this was my first shot with my 41 Magnum. I uh, really kind of shanked that. wasn't a wasn't ready for the trigger pull. I pulled through a little bit hard. And these were with the uh, 44 Magnum. So you can see they hit about the same point. The velocities are pretty close on average. I want to say it was probably like 10 or 12 feet per second difference. But the 41 Magnum is much more pleasant to shoot. Okay, let's get the 41 Magnum on the steel. Now we'll see about the 44 mag. That target is dancing. Wow, I don't even know if that last shot's in frame. Whoops. And let me turn the camera just so y'all can see how much that uh, target dances around here with the uh, 44. We have one shot left with the 44. Keep your eye on that plate. Wow! So just real quick again to show y'all, my steel plate is not much bigger than my hand. Actually, it's just a piece of a, a level 3 body armor that I converted into a steel plate. Okay, well, I hope y'all enjoyed this. It, uh, it was a little bit of fun breaking out some of my old big bores and getting some ammo through them and beating my hands up and knocking steel plates over and don't forget to hit like and don't forget to subscribe and hey hit the notification bell if uh, if you want to know when I put up a new video and uh, feel free to share with your friends this will be half mile sniper checking out 
Y'all have a great day. Send it. Yeah.